Hey everyone, um, welcome to the Bridge Gym. So today our video is Fitness X. Um, if you ever come to my classes, I do a Fitness X class, but I've changed this up a little bit. So what we're gonna be doing is gonna be doing 18 um, exercises. We'll start with strength and then we'll do cardio and then we'll do abs and then we'll repeat that. We'll do six of those to all different exercises, um, 40 seconds, a minute rest at the very end of the first circuit and then we go again onto a second circuit with no rest okay so um fitness x because it is extreme so it's a tough workout not saying that you can't do it if you think oh i'm not strong enough to do that of course you are um all you've got to do is slow it down so you don't have to go at my pace um you go at your own pace now what we need for this is if you have some dumbbells that's amazing use the dumbbells if not grab yourself um some bottles of water uh, make sure they're obviously the same size or some cans and um that'd be fine if you don't have any weights at all my suggestion is that still do the workout okay but what you can do is go slower so do the exercises more slowly so if you're doing something like a, a tricep overhead tricep extension and you're going to really work those muscles and feel the muscles as you're coming back up. You're contracting here. So without any weight, feel the muscles as you come up. The muscles are working, okay? So it's a really good practice as well if you can do that and get through it. Um, um, and then when you can get some weight of, of some sort, um, you'll have practice the exercises and um, you'll be on it. No problem. So as always, we're going to start with a warm-up. So... Nice and easy, we're just gonna do some twists. So from here, we're gonna do some more twists. That's it. So the idea of the warm up is to get our heart and lungs working, pushing the blood around the body and warming our muscles up. Okay. It's good to start with the warm up, okay, so your body doesn't get all shocked up uh, when you start going into exercise and it's wondering what's going on. Okay, that's it. So all we're doing is we're twisting from the hips, okay? That's it. Great, excellent. Good, and from there we're gonna go to some jumping jacks, which I love to do. We'll be doing those in the workout. That's it. Good, well done. Yes. And from here, nice and easy. A few squats. Really working the muscles here, nice and easy. So before we start, keep the uh, the uh, heels on the floor. We're pushing up from the heels, pushing our bum back, keeping the back nice and straight and keeping our knees behind our toes. That's it. Good, excellent. Okay, that's it. So you should feel your breath for those little exercises there. Getting a little bit tougher. That's what you want. That's good. Nice. And give yourself a little rest here. What we're going to do, pull the stomach in. We're going to start with a little bit of neck rolls. Come down to the, chip, to the chest. Over to the left side. Back if you can. To the right. Down. And do that. So if that doesn't cause you any pain in your neck, Nice and easy. Good. What we tend to do is we tend to put a lot of stress on our neck when we work out. Especially when we do ab workouts when we're lying down. So what we're going to do is just loosen up the neck. Nice. Nice and easy. Good. And all the while, what I want you to practice throughout this workout, and back the other way, is keeping your stomach pulled in. So, from the belly button. You're going to pull it to your back. The most important thing you do is breathe. So um, it's good practice to pull the stomach in and make sure you're breathing and back the other way. That's good. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to swing the arms. So warming up our shoulders. So swing them forward. Good. That's it. A few more. Amazing. And we're going to go back. That's it. Good. And finish off, let's have a run on the spot. OK. 
Good. So I've got some music to play. I'm just going to lose it off the TV. It's ready to go from YouTube. There we go, because I'll get that on as soon as we go into the main workout. Fantastic. I'm not worried about you bringing your knees up, guys. This is just to get your heart and lungs. Get you out of breath a little bit again. Good. And don't forget to have some water so you can hydrate throughout the workout. And woof, shake it out. Good, so what's our first exercise? Side lunges, front raises. So, I'll take this off. I'm very warmed up now. Put that down there. Side lunges, front raises. So, very important to talk you through this, okay? What we're doing is we are going to be stepping out. So, stepping out and raising up to shoulder height. Stepping in, stepping out. So it's important how we place our foot. As we step out, we plant our foot so it doesn't roll over, okay? So very, very important, plant the foot. If you're struggling with the shoulders, put the weights down and then just raise your arms. Are you ready for this, guys? 40 seconds, 18 exercises. I have a mat down here in front of me, which I will pull forward um, for some of the exercises. Um, as I said, the first, the first um, set we do, I'll talk you through the exercises. Um, for the second set, you can really go for it, okay? So try to remember what I tell you to do. It's really helpful, it's really good to get this right. Let's do it. So, I've set up a new timer. Let's hope that works. Are we ready? We are 10 seconds to starting. Here we go, 40 seconds. And let's go. Good. So there's no rush to start off, okay? You can stretch out a little bit more. I'm just trying to stay in camera shot for you so you can see what I'm doing. That's it. Good. Excellent. That's it, good. So, step out. If you hear that little noise, that's just my timer telling me what we've got going on. First time I've decided to use a timer that uh, tells me what's happening. I usually use my phone or my iPad, but I'm using all of those to make this video. <laughs> so, and there we go. We are going into jumping jacks to so get your weights down and let's go. That's it. So after this, we'll be going into crunches. So, if you can't do this, step and step, okay? Okay, it's fine. We have 20 seconds left. We go straight down to crunches. So a couple of seconds of the workout, you're moving from one place to another. Can you catch your breath quickly? That's it. Seven seconds. Good. Come on. Get those legs out. Great. Down to the mat. We're going into crunches. So, eyes on the ceiling. You ready? Up we go. Oof. Keep the stomach in, back on the ground. Keep the chin away from the chest. That's it. Excellent. From here, we're going to be going into deadlifts and bicep curls. So I'll talk through that exercise as we do it, okay? Very important, we get it right. Five seconds. Oh. Good, up on your feet. So from here, we're going straight into bent leg deadlift. So from here, we're going down, bum leads, legs bend. From here, we're coming up and then we're curling, okay? So bum leads, down to the shins, straight back, come up, we're curling and down. Really great when you're working two different parts of your body. Burning a lot of calories here. And down. So I'll go through that again. Ooh, we're running on the spot next. Good. Put your weights down. This one, 40 seconds. That's it. Good. Excellent, guys. Come on. That's it. You can do this. Next exercise, we're doing push-outs. So, 
We'll be sitting down on our backsides, pushing our legs out. Okay, that's it, come on. Right, we can speed this up a little bit, I think. 10 seconds, come on. That's it. And get yourself down to the ground. We are going straight to push out. So use your hands to stabilize you from here. Very important, pull the stomach in to protect the lower back, okay? Good. Find your comfortable position in this so that your back's not hurting. Good. And we're halfway there, come on. Now if you're struggling, you can go one leg down, one leg down, okay? Good, or you can hold one leg and push one leg out and you can keep them up. That'll give you more resistance in your stomach. Okay, your core. Three. Okay, from here guys, we are staying down on the ground and we are going into a bridge and a chest press. So keep the legs parallel. From here we are pushing up into a bridge. Down, I'm holding the resistance. I'm not putting my arms or my bum on the floor. You can do both if you want like this and up. I keep my resistance. So the weight is coming over the middle of your chest. You're keeping your legs parallel and you're squeezing your bum your core, your thighs, and you're pushing into your shoulders. That's it. Oh, we have burpees next. Let's go for a full burpee. Good. And up you get. I'm gonna move the mat. Full burpees, let's go. So we're going down, all the way out, up. Okay, that's it guys, down, all the way, up, down, all the way, oh. Yes, I think it should be very warm now. That's it, come on. Woo! Always a tough one, burpees. That's it. Even tougher than the whole way down. Woo! Good. Oh, five seconds, last one, come on. And down. Woo! From here, we are going into leg raises. So back down on the mat. From here, put your hands under your arm back if it helps. And from here, we are leg raising and up. Now if you struggle with this, you can do one leg. So one, one, that's it. Good. Now you can take your arms out if you want and do that. But it's actually quite good if you find any little pain in your back, just put your hands at the top of your backside. That's it. Woo! Okay, we're going to squat calf raise. So again, grab your weights and legs and narrow squat. Down, up. So from here, we're going down, up. That's it. Good, so try and get your balance. So it's down, up. Keep your head in line with the spine. Good, and up. Brilliant, 10 seconds. Wow, this is going so quick. <laughs> 18 exercises. Three, Come on. Two, oh. one. Good, we're boxing. Easy, little squat. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Come on, jab, cross. Good. Our next exercise, side plank. 20 seconds each side. That's it. So, it should be a little bit out of breath. We've got no rest, but you've got a rest coming up soon. And let's go. Come on, guys. 10 seconds. Come on. Woo. That's it. Come on. Down. Side plank. From here. Elbow on the shoulder. Lifting yourself up. If you can't do that, drop one leg. Use the other leg to bring yourself up like that, okay? We haven't got 10 seconds left on this side. Hold it there, hold it there. Your free your body is straight out in front of you. And we are gonna change. Are we ready? And let's go. So again, if you struggle like this, okay, put one leg down, come up. All right, and here we go. We're nearly done. Woo! Three, two, one. Great. 
Static lunge, bicep curl. Straight into it. Right leg forward, okay? Right leg forward, and we're curling, okay? So we're staying in this position. This is how it looks, like this. Arms stay close to the body, they don't swing out. That's it. Halfway there, change. Are we ready? Change legs, stay in the curl. That's it. Good, now if you want, you can pulse. Makes it a bit harder. That's it. So you can pulse. We'll pulse in the next ones, okay? Really feel the biceps working. We are into a split shuffle. Like this, use the arms. That's it. Good. Excellent. And then we're down for Russian twists with or without a weight. I'll take a weight to show you how it's done. You don't need one. Are we ready? We're so close. Come on, guys. Woo. Amazing. Oh, I feel great. Woo. 10 seconds. I'm ready for the next round already. Three, two, one. Get yourself down on the ground. We are from here going twist to the middle. Twist. You don't have to have the weight in your hand to do this. That's it. Good. Fantastic. Make sure you're twisting. Working your obliques. That's it. Good. Good, good, good. Come on. Brilliant. Come on, guys. 10 seconds. Twist over. Twist. Now, if you want, you can try getting the weight down to the ground. Good. Amazing. Guys, we are going into a hip thrust and tricep extension. So from here, what we're doing is we're coming, we're coming up, thrusting, going down and down. So we're keeping the arms close to the body, thrust and down. Squeeze the back side as you come up, ready? Squeeze the back side. That's it. So from here, up, squeeze the back side. Good. Thrust those hips so you'll feel a stretch in the front and you're squeezing the glutes. That's it. Good. We're nearly there. We are going into mountain climbers. So try to keep your bum down. And here we go. You don't have to go fast. Form is better than speed. Okay? That's it. Keeping on under the shoulders as much as you can. Good. Well done. Ooh, we're going to be finishing with a plank. And then we're going to do it all over again after a minute's rest. That's it. Come on. Woo. 10 seconds. Nearly there. That's it, guys. Come on. That's it. Into a plank. So, this is the plank we're going to be doing. Like this, dropping the bum. If you struggle with that, you can do this plank. Okay? Let's go. So push those legs out. Good. Ah. Hold it. Hold it. If you have to come down, drop your knees, bring yourself back out again. Like that. Just, just let go of the resistance and come back up again. And you have one minute's rest. We'll do it all over again. Wow. Woo. So we don't have any time to hydrate in between that. If you do need to drink, of course, please do, guys. Um, as I said, you don't have to keep up with me. You start off slowly and then get yourself into it, okay? Maybe have a drink. So hydrate really helps. Ah, oh, we got 30 seconds. Oh, it's nice to have a minute's rest. I don't normally do minutes rest in my classes. So uh, this is fun. Good. So, our first exercise, side lunge, front raises. So, grab your weights. We're going in 10 seconds. Hope you've got your breath back. There, a bit of a movement here with the mat back and forth, guys, but I want you to be able to see me. Are we ready?
ready, and here we go. We're back on it. That's it. Nice and strong. Don't grab the weights too hard. That's it. Just relax your hands on the weights. And you can stretch out a little bit more if you want to. You take a big step out. That's it. Like I said, I'm staying in camera range for you. That's it. So, we have 10 seconds. Now, come on, you can do this. We're going into jumping jacks, which is good because it frees your arms as you do all that workout, okay? So, nothing in your hands, loosens everything back up. Good, and then we're going into crunches. That's it. So again, if you can't do this, just step out. That's it. Do 20 seconds. Awesome. Come on. Good. Less than 10 seconds. Okay, guys. Let's get down onto the ground for crunches. Are you ready? No rest. From here, eyes on the ceiling. Up we go. Next exercise, deadlift, bicep curls. Pull the stomach in. That's it. Eyes on the ceiling. Good. Halfway there. Wow. Goes fast. That's it. Think about what this is doing for your body, how you're going to feel mentally. It's incredible. If you didn't feel like you wanted to do it, it's worth just doing it. It's worth getting that video on, going for it. Deadlifts with a bend in the leg. Nice straight back. From here, you'll feel it from your hamstrings. Bicep curl. From here, legs start to bend. Up we come. Bicep curl. Push the bum back. It's not a squat. Lead with the bum. Bicep curl. That's it, good. You'll feel that in your hamstrings. You shouldn't feel it in your back. Okay, keep that stomach pulled in. Good. Ooh, we are going into burpees, guys. Let's do it. Full burpees. And down, all the way down from here. Bring yourself up. Take a jump at the end. Down, down. That's it. All the way down. Up. Oh. Good. Come on. We're halfway. We're over halfway there. Get that jump. And that's it. We're going to leg raises. So, make sure your weights are out of the way. From here. I like to put my hand under my back. And we are raising our legs. So, the lower you go, the harder it is. Okay? You can just go to here and come up if that's hard enough for you. Or you can go just about where your legs are going to touch the floor. Oh, I can feel that. Yes. Oof. That's it. Oof. Nearly there, guys. Five seconds. Eee. Last one. Okay, we are going into bridge, chest pressed. Grab your weights. Straight into the bridge. Legs are parallel. We're going up into the press. Down. You can drop, drop everything down if you want. Or like me, you can hold your resistance. So the legs stay close together but not touching. Parallel. That's it. Oh, you're getting good. Brilliant. Come on. Middle of the chest. Nearly there. Squeeze everything on the up. Good. Squeeze. Good. Well done, guys. We are going into running on the spot. Oh, I have to tell you something. This should have been burpees. So when you replay this, you get an extra exercise before burpee. Oh no, you lose an exercise before burpees. Sorry. These 
burpees are over with. That's good. Woo! Good. Come on. Come on, let's speed it up. So, I did the cardio and the abs the other way around. Let's go. Push out. So we should have done these earlier. So in fact, if I think you've done the two, two of the hardest ones first and they're gone. That's good. That's it. We are going to squat calf raises next. We're halfway there. Be careful your back. That's it, good. Woo. Again, the lower your legs, the harder it is. Now you do feel this in your abs, you feel this in your legs. Okay, we're past 10 seconds. We're nearly there. Woo. Come on. And on your feet, we are squat calf raises. Are we ready? You can actually hold these here if you want. So you can go squat up, or you can hold it here, up. So squeeze those calves as you come up and up. Good. Up, down, up. Next, boxing. Squeeze those calves. Push that bum back. That's it. Keep those knees behind the toes. That's it. Good. And we're going into boxing. Woo. Come on. Side plank next. So 20 seconds each side. Quick changeover, okay? That's it. Come on. Shadow boxing. All boxers do shadow boxing. It's good training. Come on, guys. Come on. Slow it down. But really punch out. We'll go quick. Speed. That's it. Okay, let's get ourselves down for the plank. Side plank. Are we ready? Let's not waste any time. And up. From here. Good. So again, you can drop your bottom leg and straighten the top leg if you're struggling. Okay? Make sure the body's not bending down. Straight on. Turn. Good. That's it, well done. Doing good, doing good. Static lunge, next. You ready? Good, okay. Static lunge, rows, okay. Oh, we bicep curled. Okay, so we should be doing this, guys, but actually, we're doing this. We wanna bring the biceps in. I decided to do rows, but change it to bicep curls because it's easier to do the curls in this position. Okay, and change. Ready, and let's go. Good, so we're gonna pulse, pulse. Good. So we get two lots of biceps going here in this workout. Okay, we're going to spin shuffle. Let's go. Good. Well done. Excellent. Turn it like this. Use the hands to go quicker. To get bored. Turn around. That's it. We're going to twist next. Ten seconds. That's it. Come on. down guys and get your weight we are twisting good one set to go so change a few of the exercises around there did them did them different times doesn't matter as long as we do them absolutely fine so we're going into the hip drive next with the triceps Okay, so. Good. Five seconds, twist. That's it. And up we go. From here, 
hold it here, come up, squeeze, down. So I'll show you that for the front. We're coming up, squeeze, down. Go down onto your heels, come up, squeeze. So you're driving your hips forward. That's it, up, squeeze. Good, up, squeeze. Excellent. Come on, squeeze your glutes. Push those hips forward. That's it. Good. Excellent. Last one, because we are going into mountain climbers. I've not made this easy, guys, because we then go into a plank. Are we ready? Let's go. Those arms are still hurting. Good. Try to drop the bum. That's it. Woo. So you're working the back, the shoulders, ooh, legs, everything in this. That's it. Okay, we are going into the plank. Are you ready? Last exercise. Let's go. And hold it there. Concentrate. Drop the bum. Pull the stomach in. Last exercise. You can do this. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Allow your breath to slow down. Ten seconds. Pull your stomach in. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Guys, well done. Wow. Oh, that was amazing. Wow. I feel really worked after that. That was a good workout. So, hard work. Using upper body, lower body while you're working out. Then into cardio. So you're getting your heart and lungs really going and then getting those abs working. So remember, the whole exercise, you are actually working your abs. Keep your abs pulled in, you're working them, and the abs are really important to every exercise you do. So, don't go away, because we're gonna do a cool down together. I hope you're feeling good. Let's all have a drink to celebrate. Cheers. Mm. And we are going to start with our hips. So from this position, what we're doing is we are pushing out. So I could just show you from the side, be like this, opening up the hips, working the hip flexors, stretching the hip flexors. If you want, you can put your arms out if they're not too tired. Hold it there. That's good. Brilliant, keep it there. A little bit more, stretch a little bit more. And good. And let's change, so I'll go from this side. And you can see, there we go. So again, you wanna put your arms out, you can do. It helps to drive you forward a little bit more, or just drive the front bit forward. Keep the back leg in place, and just let the hip flexors stretch as you're driving forward. That's it. Excellent. Good. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to go down on the ground, on the floor, and we're going to stretch our glutes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put our right leg on our left leg like this, put our hand underneath, and we're going to bring the leg towards us. So you should feel a stretch here in your glutes. I certainly do. Woo! Yep, I can feel that. And if you could pull it a little bit more. Excellent. Good. Oh, hold it there. And we're gonna change, okay? So this leg over, grab from here. That's it, and then just pull forward. Yeah, I can feel it in both my glutes. Relax the head. Don't put any stress on the neck. That's it. Good. If you find that you're a bit sweaty, your legs starting to go up, just grab hold of it, bring it back down. 
That's it. Hold it there. We've not got long to go on this. Three, two, one. Excellent. Grab both your knees. So what we're going to do, grab the knees, relax, bring the knees to our chest, and we're just going to roll. And as you come up, just come back round, bring the knees to the chest, and bring the knees to the chest. You should feel stretching your lower back. Good. Remember, if you're super flexible, you might not feel this. But for a lot of us, these muscles are quite tight. Good, and let's go the other way. Perfect. And stretch. Good. And again. Excellent. Okay, we're going to stay seated. What we're going to do is we're going to bring our soles of our feet together like this. Using our elbows, place them on the knees and push down. So you should feel the insides of your legs, called the adductors, stretching. And all the while, while you're stretching, just start slowing your breath down. In through the nose, out through the mouth. To make sure the breaths are a little bit longer. So you come in for three, and then out for three. That's it, that should slow everything down. You'll find your heart rate slowing down. And push down a little bit more. And if you want, guys, you can hold here and just allow the legs to drop down this way, like that, okay? If you're finding that quite hard, pushing it down, just release it and just allow the legs to flutter. That's it, good, brilliant. So what I'm gonna show you today, so don't show you many of our workout videos we do, but as we're on the ground, it would be quite good. If you struggle to, um, Stretch your thighs here. What you can do is stay down, lean on your elbow, grab your leg, and then just pull it back like this. That's it. So it's a good oblique stretch. Uh, not oblique, quads, quads. Obliques are in, in our core. Quads. There we go. Quad stretch. Thigh. If you want to get a better stretch, push your hips out a little bit more and then you'll feel more of a stretch. That's it. Hold it there and we're going to change around. Good. So from here, woof, again. So this, you might find that some sides are tighter than others. I can certainly feel this a little bit more on my left side. So again, I'm going to push my hips out to get a better stretch. And sometimes this is easier for some people to be able to grab the leg. So whatever works, do that one. Good. I'm feeling the sitting down doing stretches today, seeing as we work so hard. So from here, we're going to stay seated. Let's bring our left leg in. All we're going to do is we are going to bring our, our head to our knee, okay? Obviously my head's not going to touch my, my forehead's not going to touch my knee. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go slightly out, grab the leg. I can really feel that now. So I'm not flexible at all. So what I'm going to do, guys, get you to hold it in the position that you just feel the stretch coming, okay? Allow that to become comfortable. That's it. And you may feel a stretch also down the side here, which is nice. So just to the back. Good. Hold it there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring ourselves back up. And then we're going to go again. You should be able to go a little bit further. And yes, I've gone a little bit further. Good. Keep it there. So if you can get your, uh, your head to your knee, awesome. You are flexible, or a dancer, or a gymnast, or just genetically gifted. And we're gonna change. Ah. So from here, same thing, just until you feel the stretch. And that's it. So just hold it. The first time, mine feels very, very tight. 
So just hold it there. Good. Feel a bit easier. So let's bring it up and then we're going to go again. Ready? That's it. Good. Ooh. Amazing. Well done. Good. Staying in this position, cross your legs. All we're going to do, sit up straight, bring our arms out to the front like this. And all we're doing is we're staying in the same position. We're just pushing our arms away from our body like that. So you should be stretching your back. Good. Keep it there. And see if you can go a little bit further. Amazing. And a little change to the normal chest one we do, because sitting down is a little bit more difficult. So we're going to put our arms like this, and then we're just going to push back, okay? So in this position, we're pushing our elbows towards the wall behind us, staying in position, and you should feel the chest stretching. That's it. If you want, you can put your arms out like this. We'll go back. Just a little bit like that. Good, hold it there. Keep the head in line with the spine. Guys, if I'm moving around, ignore me, because I'm just making checking positions and everything, but for you guys, it's going to keep your head in line with the spine. That's it. Good, relax it down. So, we are going to finish with uh, touching the toes, because it is a great, a great stretch. Don't worry if you can't touch your toes, I normally can't on the first stretch. So, what we're going to do from here, we are just going to slowly drop down so there you go i'm not even near my toes but i might get it by the end of the stretch so let your head drop down that's it Woof. good and a little bit more nice and if you find you can put your can close your arms as well and that creates a bit of weight that drops you down a little bit more Oh, I'm so close to touching my toes. Okay, that's it, guys. Good, good, good. Okay. Wow. Slowly bring yourselves up. Give yourself a round of applause. That was great. Really enjoyed it. Whatever time of the day you do this, you'll be ready for the next part of your day. Um, I certainly am. So follow us on Instagram, The Bridge Gym. Um, and this video will be on YouTube, The Bridge Health, Fitness and Wellbeing. So until next time, guys, it was amazing. See you soon.